Hey guys, what's going on? Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Today I want to show you guys how to repair a leaking gearbox on a rotary cutter. Or bush hog, brush cutter, brush hog, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, I've got mine sitting here right next to me. Well, hold on. It's been a minute since I've done any cutting over here. quite like some diesel to get you going on an early Sunday morning. But yeah, in fact, there is a bush hog sitting there. I really need to get it out. So if you watched the first video or one of the earlier videos I put up when I first got this seven foot woods rotary cutter, I ran it in the afternoon and found that the gearbox leaked. I filled it full of gear oil all the way up to the top. And I could instantly, I noticed underneath, I just kind of picked it up and looked. It was kind of dripping real slow. And I ran it for an hour, hour and a half, and it was completely dry at the end of the day. So obviously I have a leaking gearbox. Now, if you've done any research on how to repair these the correct way or the by the book way, you gotta take the gearbox off the cutter and replace the seals. And everyone's a little bit different, but generally it you know involves flipping the cutter up and just a lot of work and depending upon how long these have sat outside they're rusted can be a real pain and you can put regular grease in the box and that works okay but it still doesn't quite lubricate like an oil would so I'm opting for what is known as corn head grease now this stuff is exactly what it sounds like it's grease for corn head pickers on combines and what's cool about this grease is that at the current temperature it is right now air temperature it's a grease. It's thick like a grease. Once it gets up to operating temperature, it turns more into a fluid and helps lubricate the box. But then as it cools back down, it turns back into a thick, heavy grease. Obviously, that will still allow some leakage over time, but it won't be near as quick as gear oil and it should lubricate better than regular grease. So here is a shot of what it actually is, uh, John Deere brand. I don't know that there are a lot of brands out there. I When I searched, John Deere was the one that really only came up and I bought a 10 pack of this I think for 40 bucks maybe 45 shipped so there's the grease there's the fill port now just put my breaker bar on here and do this one-handed because so that's how the manual says to do it one-handed it's still pretty loose from last time all right finger tighten loosen I mean all right so you just take this can you jam it in that hole yeah now this is kind of the fun part I uh, was thinking about how I'm gonna get this grease into the gearbox itself you could put it in a grease gun and just pump 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 but I think I have a better idea in my head it sounds perfect but here we go we'll see okay so I am uh, fully prepared to wear a lot of this grease but my idea was to take a can of this, put it in a Ziploc bag and cut the corner like a pastry chef and just kind of squeeze it into the, into the hole. Um, good idea, right? We'll see. The can cleared itself pretty well. I'm gonna do a couple at a time. Might do three to start. There was something wrong with that first two. This one's a lot thicker. Good enough. This is a great way to get grease absolutely everywhere. I'm well on my way. This stuff's actually a little bit thinner than I thought it was going to be. I probably could use a funnel, just let it sit for a while. But where's the entertainment value in that? I got grease on that. Time to frost my cake. It's actually working pretty well. Three tubes might be the right amount to fill it 
almost full too. It's kind of hard because I, uh, once I'm done frosting here, I really want to lick the icing that's left over, but I don't know that that's advised. Although the can didn't say anything about it, so now it's where the mess comes in. All right, it's not completely full, but it's pretty close to the top. There's a deer right there. Not, not the tractor, there's actually a deer over there. It's like Bambi. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see in there. It's very difficult, but I would say it's probably about there across. So I'm gonna go ahead and cap it and run it for a while and check on it and see what happens. cuts obviously I'm gonna keep cutting but uh, I'll check back in at the end of the day and kind of give you an update of how full the reservoir still is on there these VHS tapes aren't cheap guys so I'll leave it I'll leave you here for now also isn't there something really satisfying about watching time-lapsed bush hogging it's like one of those how machines works thing it's just kind of cool I think so anyway so I just wrapped up cutting for the day I cut probably two acres maybe some of the stuff was first time cut, so it was a little slow, and I had to go around a lot of trees. But I just opened up the gearbox, and I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought I was going to lose more than I did. I would say I have retained probably more than half for sure, and you can see it kind of pooling in the bottom still with the gear, the gearbox, and it's not run dry, and all the gears are still coated. So I think this could be a, a pretty good fix. And like I said, I'll probably have to keep adding tubes over time, but it seems to be working so far. Appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out this video. Hope the cornhead grease fix can be uh, something that works for you as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check back for more videos. And uh, ring that little bell so you get notifications as we do post new videos. Take care, guys.